Hi YouTubers and uh, welcome back. Uh, today we're doing uh, vid 29, um, how to do a transmitter mod that enables you to have push button starting on a two channel transmitter using the remote start um, upgrade kit. Um, there are other starting systems out there like the ROS system uh, where you have to have a dedicated third channel to trigger startup uh, with the remote start upgrade kit of course you can use the first second channel if um, to trigger startup and in this mod we're using the second channel and um, but of course if you did have a, a third channel on it as this transmitter does you could use that rather than using the first or second channel so um first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, have a look we're going to have a look under, under the uh, the hood of the uh, the Fortec where we've done the mod which is on the second channel so I'll turn the transmitter on turn the car on and you'll see that the micro server here on the remote start upgrade kit when I pull on the trigger and brake it moves with the movement of the braking servo and throttle servo but it doesn't trigger startup or the starter button but by adding this um, bypass switch or momentary switch when I push the button you now get extra throw on the micro servo which triggers startup very cool so if you've seen my previous videos you would have seen how we manipulated the servo trim and then braked to startup this basically just eliminates uh, the need to do that so uh, you got your push button starting without having to invest a whole lot of money into a new transmitter so very cool so okay so I'll just switch off the car and the transmitter put this to one side now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the transmitter and show you how to do the mod um, I've already taken four out of the five screws out of the back just to save a little bit of time I'll take the battery out uh, in mine I'm using a, a lipo battery to um, trigger or to power sorry the transmitter okay I'll just take the, uh, the single screw I've got in the back out so we can uh, show you what I've done now of course as I've stated we're, I'm using a 2.4 gigahertz sorry uh, a, a TQ transmitter for this mod but if you are using the 2.4 gigahertz the mod is basically the same only the coloring of the wiring is um, different and the servo throw is different but I'll go over that um, once I've opened up the uh, the transmitter and you can have a have a good look at what's going on okay so I'll grab the uh, the camera we'll have a closer look now there's the wires that we want to get up are behind the triggering system here so you need to undo the three screws and they they come out pretty easily which makes life a lot easier so one two three okay and once they're unscrewed you just need to flip that over like so and what you'll see is you'll see three ports um, this wire here which is blue is normally red the reason it's blue is because I've already desorted the red wire and I reattached the blue wire and then, so it's red and then you've got a blue wire and then an orange wire normally now the red wire has been taken the one that I desorted has been taken to one end of the um, momentary switch the extra blue wire which you've already seen sorted back on with red wire was goes on to the other port goes back and is sorted on and what this does is it now creates the uh, the possibility for us to break that circuit so we're using a momentary switch which is an on off switch so power is allowed to go through that as normal for normal uh, driving and braking but as soon as you push the button in or the momentary switch in power is temporarily cut that's what gives you the extra throw and that's what triggers startup so the mod is that simple now if you're using a different model um, say uh, a T-Max or an S-Max or a Revo, a Nitro Stampede, Nitro Sport, a Slayer Pro you would actually desolder this wire rather than the red wire the simple reason is because this changes the direction of the throw and on those models the braking uh, throw is done in the opposite direction if you're using a 2.4 gigahertz um, the colors of the wire are red as is in this one um, then green and then black um, but for whatever reason the direction of the servos are different so for instance if this was a 2.4 gigahertz we would be desoldering the orange wire and the nitro 4 rather than the red wire 
um, just something to keep in mind. If you do the mod and, and the servo direction is going in the wrong direction, you know, oh, okay, it must be on the other side. But that's basically uh, the mod. So what it means is you do not have to invest any extra money on a, on a third channel uh, on your transmitter, which is fantastic. You can put that money into other things, but you still get the benefit of push button starting. So enjoy the mod. If you've got any comments, uh, any feedback, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.